It's never been easier to grow on TikTok than right now. But if you don't have the right direction, nor tips and strategies, you will be stuck at 200 views on pretty much every video. You might get lucky, but you will never quite understand what makes a viral video, nor the right tips and tricks to actually accelerate your growth on TikTok. But to speed up this process, I'm going to give you my five steps and strategies to start any brand new account and skyrocket it within the first few weeks. This goes for both personal brands or faceless accounts. My recent student who is actually limited to one arm actually generated 20,000 followers within three days of starting his account using these exact strategies I'm about to go over. And another student, Sunil, implemented this strategy and generated over 38 million views in three months. So what I will be covering in this video is a quick overview on how the algorithm works, how to properly start an account. Yes, this is a crucial part. Do hashtags even matter? Do posting times matter? And my last strategy that I'm going to be saving for the end, which will bring everything I'm talking about in this video together, is my secret strategy to create viral videos back to back right after opening an account. Something all of my students have been able to utilize and generate millions of views was this exact tactic. By combining everything I'm about to talk about, this will set you up for success in 2024 so you will never be stuck growing an account on TikTok ever again. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First, how does the algorithm on TikTok work? I made a whole video on this, pretty much breaking down the point systems, pretty much all the video phases, but I will go over it again in a quick refresher I recorded. Think of the algorithm like a point system. If you get more points than another person, obviously you win. Now you might be wondering, what are these points? Starting off, a video with over 150% watch time is gonna be six points. That means they have to watch the video all the way through and then some. The second metric is 100% watch time, which is five points. That means they watch the entire video all the way through. A share on the video is going to be three points. A comment is going to be two points and a like will be one point. As you can see, a like is honestly meaningless in the whole grand scheme of things. You really don't wanna be pushing for likes. You simply wanna retain viewership. If you understand how these platforms work, they want people to stay on the platforms as long as possible. This is because they get more money in their pocket from advertisers. So if you can help TikTok by retaining viewership, you're gonna benefit in the long run. So let's get into the video phase breakdown and show you exactly how these metrics values and points actually play a role in this. So the seeding phase is the initial phase that's zero to a thousand views so imagine there's a bunch of different videos posted obviously you're fighting amongst everybody to get attention on this app so let's say one video gets 25 points and another gets 16 points the one with 25 points will move forward into the expansion phase while the one that lost will be stuck at the initial phase continuing down the one that gets 20 points versus the 10 point video 20 point video will win and move forward into the expansion phase. At this point, this is around 10,000 views. And so when these two videos face each other, obviously the one with 25 points will win over the 20 point video. And because it got more engagement, more, more comments, more retention, and overall just the best metrics compared to all the other videos, it will move on to the viral phase. So to sum it up pretty much, the one metric you need to be focusing on is retaining viewers. All social media platforms want to do is keep a user on their platform for as long as possible because they get paid from advertisers. So the longer that people are on the platform, the more ads they're going to be shown, thus getting more money in TikTok's pocket. Moving on to the next strategy, how to properly start a brand new account. When you first create a TikTok account, the algorithm has no idea who you are nor who to serve your content to. They're pretty much looking at you as a bot. So what I like to do when first starting an account is not post for the first 24 hours. What you will rather do is go onto other accounts inside of your niche or content you're going to be posting about, following those accounts, liking their videos, as well as commenting, saving, and even sharing if you want to. You wanna do this for the first 30 minutes of starting the account so that your entire For You page will be about content that you're going to be posting. And this is pretty much the main reason a lot of people are stuck at zero views almost all the time because they don't give TikTok the time to even understand that you're an account that is actually a real person. You wanna give actual human activity to the account when you first start it out. The next tip is somewhat of an opinionated kind of question. Do hashtags matter? I've seen many accounts get away without ever using any hashtags, but they do matter in the very beginning. And this is from my personal experience. 
you want to be able to feed the TikTok algorithm data to understand who your video is for and pretty much who you're about. So what I recommend in the beginning is to use two to three hashtags that are inside of your niche that will best illustrate what your video and content is about. And there's no penalty to using hashtags. So just use them. On to my next point, do posting times really matter? I might get a lot of heat for this, but they really don't. People are binging on this app 24 seven. I mean, people's average time on this app is 90 minutes. And I mean average, people spend way more time on the app than that. But that's my personal view. When you first start an account, and if you really wanna minimize any chances of anything bad happening in terms of not being seen by the right audience at the right time, then I would stick to later afternoon times. By this, I mean 6 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. And this is because people are getting off of school, getting off of work, and one of the first things they do when they get off of school or work is just binge on the app. They wanna get a quick dopamine hit after looking at random boring stuff all day, and they just wanna feel good. Obviously, once you start to gain momentum and gain an audience, look at your analytics and see when your audience is most active. And then start to post 30 minutes before the peak time. My last and final strategy that has allowed me and many of my students to generate millions of views is the copy paste method. Why waste weeks, if not months, trying to reinvent the wheel and just push content, literally praying it will work? So pretty much how to do this is you're going to download a Chrome extension, sort TikTok. From there, you're going to find accounts inside of your niche that are high performers. I mean, accounts that are going to be the top of your niche. Once you've gotten a few accounts, go on to Google and look up the account and utilize sort TikTok. This is going to bring all the highest viewed videos up to the very top. You are then going to remake the video, utilize the same hook, find out what tactics they use to, to retain the viewer, as well as different CTAs in the video for comments, shares, or follows if they have any. What this is going to do is pretty much give you a fast track way to success right off the bat. But once you get a few viral videos on your account and gain that initial momentum, you can start to initiate a different protocol. Start finding different video styles, test different hooks, test different retention tactics, really just test everything at that point. Some of the biggest accounts will look at other high performing videos and take from it to make their videos better. In the beginning, that is the best way to kickstart an account. And over time, you're going to learn what hooks work, what is a viral video. So you're going to gain knowledge from doing this so that when you start new accounts, you don't necessarily have to copy other accounts inside of your niche. You will already know the framework of a viral video. Having that initial momentum on a brand new account is what's going to make or break your success on TikTok in 2024. I hope you guys have found this video helpful in some way. If you guys have, make sure to subscribe, turn post notifications on, and comment down below what you thought of the video or other tips that maybe you found from growing accounts. I do have a community called Creator Access that helps people grow on social media and make money at the same time. I'm on a mission to help a thousand content creators create content that resonates with themselves so they can make money doing something they love to do. It's something that has allowed me to travel the world and go to so many crazy places by doing what I love. And I want to help you guys as much as I can to achieve that. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.